Moses joining me on the desk now. The Lloyd Minster Red Dogs remaining top dogs in their first year in the top tier. And the huge part of that success, Merriman, has been their receiving dynamic duo, Mackenzie Lawson and Zach Dizietnik. Matt Schumont has more. Averaging 30 points a game through their first three games, it's been the receiving duo of Mackenzie Lawson and Zach Dizietnik who have combined to put up seven receiving touchdowns for the Red Dogs. We just kind of feed off each other, like you said, and it's great. We are always complimenting after a catch or whatever, so we thrive off each other's success. Every single time one of us makes a good play, we always go and compliment the other person. It's not really a competition, but sometimes we try and we try and beat each other. It's like, oh, I got a touchdown, and then he's got to get a touchdown. No, we have a we always have fun during the games, and no, I just think since he joined the team, we've become really good friends. So it's just. It's just a great guy to play with. Now, although the two have similar stats this year, their playing styles are very different. Lawson probably is more of a threat with the ball after he catches it. Uh, Ziggy, I mean, one-on-one -on -one against anybody, he can go up and get the ball because he's got that height. So uh, they are different players, definitely in a way. When I get that ball, I have to do my part. The quarterback got me the ball. That's his part. And after I got the ball, I got to just go and do what I do and try and get a touchdown or do good for my team. We both have a little bit different playing stand, uh, playing like ways, I guess you could say. And uh, no, but it's added together, we make a really good receiving core. Both receivers have shined throughout the season, making unbelievable plays, plays so spectacular that it's even left head coach Rod Kirby in awe. So there's been times this season where I've just stood there on like a dumbfounded at some of the plays they've made. And then, you, you know, like you said, then you realize, oh yeah, I got to call a play. <laughs> We've got a, we got a game going on here. The Red Dogs will now look to end the regular season with a perfect 4-0 record tonight against the Mill Woods Grizzlies. Matt Schumont, Newcap Sports. Move on to a different sport on a different pitch. The Lloyd Minster Reaper squads are back on the pitch for another rugby campaign. June 21st, we're going to have a bit of a festival. We're going to have a game, kind of a old, old players returning against the, the current team. Both men and women are looking to do the same. The Reapers will be honoring a decade of rugby. However, the men's team will be taking a year off league play as they're going through a transition phase. And trying to get new guys to come out and play both from the high schools and with Lloyd being such a transient town, we always have new guys coming in um, this year alone. So far, we've got three guys from Ireland that have shown up. Um, all fabulous players and j just a great delight to have. Good to get to know the lads anyway before we get onto the pitch and have some serious games, you know, so... Maybe a few months of messing around, kicking the ball, getting to know the names. Should be good, you know. Well, I gotta love uh, the Irish coming out here and playing. That's awesome. Uh, anyways, the men's will play a couple exhibition games mixed in with some tournaments, much like the women who currently have a dozen players on the roster. Won't play in the league, but they do have that in their sights. We're hoping to try and get back more into a league setting. We're not quite sure whether we're going to the Alberta side or the Saskatchewan. We're kind of um, up in the air as to that. But as it stands for right now, we're just looking at various tournaments. Recently, we've been kind of low on numbers, so we've been trying to play 10s and 7s as much as we can. Now, both the men and women's teams uh, will get their first action around the May long weekend. That is your first look at sports. Gerard is up next with weather.